Hello, beautiful souls. It's Brian of Transolution here, as always, to assist you on your spiritual journey of deep transformation and self-discovery. And today we are tuning into the energies of February 2022. So go ahead and pick one of these lovely crystals here. We have a puffalite, Lemurian quartz and blue lace agate so go ahead and just take a moment and see which image which crystal is calling you to share some information for february 2022 and because you know February tends to be this month of like love and, and romance because of Valentine's Day. We're also doing a little bit of a love reading after your main reading for those of you that are single. So go ahead and pick your crystal and you'll see in the timestamps below. Um, you can click on that to go straight to your reading. Aloha, my beautiful Apophilite crystal people here. So for those of you that chose Apophilite, the message on the bottom of the card says, stay positive. So what I'm getting here already from the get-go is that there have been some really rough waters for a lot of you who chose this crystal and you're kind of getting at the, the end of your rope here where you're just like, oh my gosh, I don't know how much more optimistic I can be. I don't know how much longer I can hang in there. Um, I just feel like things are not maybe moving as fast as I wanted them to or things aren't really going the way I was hoping or planning for. So let's get some more information on the beginning, middle and end of February. Um, I got called to use my Rider weight tarot deck, which I actually don't use very, very often, but they just wanted to come out and help everybody out today. So let's pull some cards here for the beginning, middle, and end of February, okay? So for the beginning here, we have the Page of Swords, and we also have the Five of Swords. So what I'm getting here is the first part of the month. You guys are really going to be very much in your head and one of the things here is you're going to be definitely trying to get a lot of information here um, from the page of swords i sense that you're going to be talking to a lot of people okay but the challenge here in the beginning of february is this card right here which is the five of swords and what i'm getting here is that the communication that you are um engaging in with these other people it's there's gonna be this sense of like distrust with it um, either coming from you or the other person and people are going to be really protective of themselves and so they might not be as open and honest and forthcoming as you would like so my gut here is telling me that in the beginning of February, you're going to be so tempted to communicate with people, but really take what information you're getting with a grain of salt, because I'm sensing that, you know, people's energy is just kind of wonky and all over the place here in the beginning of the month. And so it might not be the best time to really be making decisions. Okay. I get the sense that it's more of an observation period for you. Okay. For those of you who chose Apophilite and in the middle of the month, we have here the 10 of wands and we also have the page of wands. Okay. So, um, what I'm getting here is, you know, we were saying at the beginning of this reading to stay positive. Um, maybe things have not been going well now, but definitely in February, it's going to, it's going to take a lot of willpower and optimism on your end to sort of push through the month. Okay. And I'm not saying that to necessarily you know, scare anybody, but we, life has its ups and downs and February right now. It's one of those months that seems like it's going to feel like a bit of a burden for you. Okay. Like look at this poor man trying to carry these sticks across this like not so lush, almost like deserty, um, kind of terrain. Okay. And the, 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 the sticks are a lot taller than he is. And so it's going to feel like, um, perhaps the world is, is, becoming a bit heavy, like you have a lot of burdens to carry, you have a lot of responsibilities and a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yes, that's a good term. You're going to feel like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders here. But be open for divine inspiration and divine guidance here with the Page of Wands, okay? There's there's going to be um, something or someone that's going to come in in the middle of February that's going to ease a little bit of this weight of burden that's going to give you this sort of 
rush of energy and inspiration that you need. It's uh, what I'm kind of sensing here is um, it's like a marathon. Okay, guys, it's a marathon and you're at that point where maybe you're getting a little bit tired and exhausted and you're wondering, like, can I actually finish this race? That's where you're going to be here in this um, looks like the first and second part of February, so the middle especially, you're going to reach that point where you just like want to collapse. But again, the overall message for the month is to stay positive, okay? It's you, I think everybody when they're um, in this marathon, in this race of life, there comes a point where they feel like they have no more steam and no more fuel. But there are these like mystical, magical, cosmic reserves within you to kind of push through that um, last leg of the race here. And I feel that energy is coming in for you, okay? Um, I feel that energy is actually coming from a very young source. So it could be like a child or someone younger than you, or maybe if it's in the workplace, it's gonna be somebody who is newer to the company than you. Um, but also I'm getting to that it's like a new um, idea, new inspiration, new um, sort of uh, passion that's coming through, right? You're going to look at something in a new way here that you haven't looked at it before and it's going to kind of rejuvenate. It's going to reinvigorate. Ooh, that's a good word. Reinvigorate you, okay? So that you can complete this race. So let's see what's happening at the end of the month. <clears throat> Wow, so the end of February for um, you who chose the Apophila is going to be a pretty monumental month because you got two major arcana coming through here at the end of the month. We have the Strength card and we have the Tower card, okay? So what I'm getting here is there's something that's going to be cleared out of your life here in February because you've kind of um, gotten everything you could from that experience. So the Tower is coming in to put an end to this chapter in some um, area of your life, whether that's work, whether that's romance, whether that's um, health, um, maybe you've been dealing with a health issue, <coughs> um, excuse me. And so that's going to be coming to an end and it's gonna actually feel quite refreshing and you're gonna feel more empowered and strengthened by this. And what I'm also getting here is that, remember how we were just talking about, you know, a little bit of distrust, a little bit of like, challenges with getting information in the beginning of the month and this feeling of like this weight on your shoulders in the middle of the month right this burden that you're carrying i'm gonna get here i'm sensing here at the end of the month you're gonna feel so powerful because you made it through like the tough part of this month and you're just going to be able to really um be prideful at what you were able to accomplish, you know, what able what you were able to make it through. And you're going to look back on this situation and you're going to feel so much strength of character, strength of willpower coming through because you've made it through a very challenging time, okay? Um, I would just, you know, reiterate to to have a little bit of patience okay and and don't lose that optimism that um, some people are so easy to kind of toss out the window when the going gets tough like like definitely don't lose sight of the light at the end of the tunnel okay things can be difficult but they always come to an end okay that's what the tower reminds us is that things will come to an end things are only temporary okay so all that tough times you're going through, it's temporary. If you have a chance, I'm getting that Apophilite that if you're able to get an Apophilite crystal from online or from a crystal shop near you, definitely keep it with you. Keep it in your pocket, keep it in your purse, um, and grab onto it when you feel like things are getting a little bit rough, okay? And it will bring you that burst of positivity that you need to make it through that moment so you can get to the next one. All right. So my loves, for those of you that are single, hang in there because I have um, some special messages for you in this month of romance and love that it's so classically um, associated with here, you know, Valentine's Day. Uh, <clears throat> now, whatever your feelings are about Valentine's Day, what we're channeling here is some romantic energy that is coming through for you in February. Okay. So... Let's pull out three cards here and 
for my singles here, we have Sunglasses. We have Passion. I guess that makes a lot of sense because we've got some wands energy coming, especially in the middle of the month. And we have, oops, I didn't read that, Keys on a Ring, okay? So let's kind of take a look at the words here on the bottom. For Sunglasses, it says, Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. You know, what I'm sensing with this sunglass energy is really this stuff here, okay? Um, so in the beginning of the month, um, and this, you know, the sunglass energy came out with it, there are going to be some things that are said, some information you're trying to get um, that's making you feel a bit crazy, right? You're like, why can't anybody just answer my question? <laughs> why can't anybody just be honest? That's how you're going to be feeling, okay? And so again, the first part of here is like watching, looking, focusing out, okay? So like taking that step back, y'all, and um, <clears throat> just observing, just gathering what ever shreds of information you can get right now but not acting on it okay so the first part of this month is not acting on it so maybe there's a love interest or maybe there's someone that's expressing an interest in pursuing you romantically but for the time being don't get too all in your head and create stories that don't exist just observe see what they're about see what they're doing see what they're telling you and then really focus more on like how you're feeling about it okay and then next up we have passion again totally appropriate because in the middle of the month we have all this wands energy coming through so what it says here is insane chemistry like each other equally and having fun oh my god i'm getting this energy here that this is that boost that you're gonna need in the middle of the month right because you've probably just been a bit frustrated in the first part of the month and in the middle of the month this person um again perhaps a romantic interest of yours or someone you're dating currently whatever <clears throat> Um, and they're going to really um, lighten the mood up, okay? You're going to get a, a breath of just fun, relaxing, like stress-free energy coming through. And lastly, we have Kings on the Ring. Keys on a Ring. I don't know why it said Kings on the Ring. But it says <laughs> many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Okay? So for my singles here, what I'm getting here is... Um, towards the end of the month you know you had this fun with um this person that's kind of taking center stage here in your romantic life but um it's important to know that you have a lot of options okay and to really go with the option that lights you up okay and so um this person that you're spending some time with like yeah they may be totally cool they may be completely like a fun um person for you but, um, like, really just take a moment and see, like, how you really feel about this relationship. Um, is it something that is, like, fun while it lasted? Or is it something that feels a little bit more long-term for you, okay? And then really, like, just tune into what you need at this present time and this present moment. Do you really just want fun? Or do you want something more serious? Okay, once you know what you want, then you can make the decisions about this romantic interest of yours. All right? If you want to, like keep them around for March, or if you want to open up the doors again and let new um, love interests come into your life, okay? So, sounds like you got a lot of options here. Now, as a parting message, um, let's look at the Divine Feather deck here and see what, okay. <clears throat> this card flipped out. This is what the feather looks like. I know it doesn't seem super exciting, um, but it comes from the condor, which is like a very, very powerful bird. And what um, this bird wants to share with you is hold the highest vision for your life. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. Mm, that's this energy right here. And I also feel like that's this energy here. Okay. So, um, you totally have the power you totally have those energy reserves like we were talking about earlier in your reading to make it through any um you know roadblocks any um sort of hindrances i'm trying to think of this other word um like bumps in the road um and you can overcome them okay so just remember that um channel this condor energy here okay it doesn't have to be anything flashy um but it can still give you that strength that you need and again um that 
um, hold the highest vision for your life. That's again, that focusing out. So February might be a good month for you to really um, re-examine and look at again like your vision board for your life like the greater picture of your life like what are your ultimate goals what are your biggest dreams and fantasies and just focus in on those and allow the universe to provide you the opportunities that you need to make them a reality all right so those are your messages for february 2022 my lovely apophyllite crystals um if you got anything out of this reading and you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you feel called to and you feel that you need a little bit more guidance, um, make sure to click on the link in the description below to book a 15 minute energy reading with me. Um, it's donation based, so you don't have to pay anything to book the appointment and we can um, come together and channel whatever guidance and wisdom that you need through any difficult times in your life. All right, so I will catch you again soon, my loves. Have a wonderful, wonderful February. Hello, hello, hello for those of you who chose this beautiful Lemurian quartz crystal here. I actually have one of them right here. It's one of my favorite crystals to work with. And what um, the energy that Lemurian quartz is bringing for February 2022 for you is practice patience. All right, y'all. So. Um, I'm going to shuffle some cards here. I, I got called to use my Rider Waite tarot deck, which normally doesn't happen because I don't use this deck very often, but it wants to come out and play, so we're going to honor it. <laughs> All right. So what I'm getting here with this Lemurian Quartz already, Practice Patience, is that um, I sense that you guys are very, very excited individuals and you are really go-getters, right? And you're really um, in that family of like action takers. That's what I'm sensing here. Or, or um, maybe at least at this point in your life, like you have this beautiful vision you've got some um wonderful downloads and and guidance in the month of january and you are like eager to let things like take off you're ready for expansion you're ready for abundance and you're ready for it all and this month um what you're being asked to do is practice a little bit of patience um hang in there things might not be going quite at the pace that you want or maybe in the way you thought it would unfold so let's see what the tarot has to share with you. We're going to go beginning, middle, end. And then at the end of this reading, of course, this general reading, we're going to tap into that romance energy in honor of February and, you know, Valentine's Day for all you singles out there. So, wow. Awesome. So in the beginning of the month, we have justice and we have the four of wands. And so what I'm having... What I'm seeing here is that um, some really, really good news is coming in and um, I'm, I'm getting that somebody who owed you something is actually going to come through in the beginning of the month for you. There's going to be a reason to celebrate because you're getting exactly what you were owed um, and there's going to be this balance again of energy. So there was some energy that you put out there in the world, um, you know, whether that was through a favor, whether it was lending money, whether it was like... Um, being there to support somebody, right, when they were going through a rough time. Um, or, of course, it can take any kind of legal um, um, flavor as well. Like maybe there's some kind of contract, some kind of paperwork. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to be really happy about what you're getting in return, what's going to come of it. Okay, so that's the beginning of February. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the middle of February, we have the magician coming through. And we have the Three of Swords. So I know maybe some of you are freaking out a little bit because of this card here. And this card does generally stand for heartbreak and sadness because we're like seeing the swords breaking through the heart here. Um, so it might be that you're going to get some information that, you know, you're not really eager to hear um, or something's going to happen that maybe sets things back in a way that um, doesn't make you happy. And that's really where the heartbreak lies. And it's honestly, it's all in your mind, okay? Because the universe works in ways that we can't even understand. Um, and so things that may seem like a curse or like negative, really at the end of the day, it's something that could really have served our highest and greatest good and have been to our benefit, all right? It just might not be clear to us in that moment of heartbreak. But what I see here is that there's this magician energy, okay? Um, now, 
at times the magician can um serve as sort of a empowering icon right because the magician knows how to harness the elements of the physical reality to create things that they want in their life so that's um the beautiful aspect of the magician but what i'm actually sensing here in um pairing it with the three of swords is that there's a little bit of trickery happening here okay so the magician um, is the representation of mercury or i think hermes is the other name for mercury and and they're known as the trickster god okay and so what i'm sensing here is this heartbreak is because there's some kind of like trickery happening here and that somebody wasn't really being completely honest in this situation and they were also maybe manipulating things to work in their favor okay and that could be why you need to practice patience as well because um, people you know when they're spending so much <coughs> excuse me energy towards being a little bit misleading or or dishonest or not showing all their cards it really slows some things down right because now you have to deal with um filtering out through what's truth and what isn't you know what's maybe like a lie all right so that's something that i'm seeing that's going to be um a task for you if you will in the middle of february now at the end of february oh this is beautiful i'm so glad this is coming through for you my lovely lemurian quartz crew we have the ten of cups so a lot of happiness a lot of emotional fulfillment and we also have the king of pentacles so um, what I'm getting from the King of Pentacles is just a lot of peace, okay? And there's this lot of sense of abundance and gratitude for what you have because you have a lot here. So what I'm seeing as this kind of plays out into the narrative for you in February of 2022 is that whatever this is that really broke your heart and upset you in the middle of the month, you are going to come to realize that it needed to go. Like you're going to be so happy that you got to see the truth of this particular situation of this particular person and you're just like thank goodness that i got to see that because now you know i know who they are i know what this situation is all about i see the truth of it all and you can celebrate you can celebrate and be happy because they were probably actually like holding you back and weighing you down okay and their energy wasn't right for you anyway um i keep saying they so it's probably some person is what I'm guessing here okay um, or it could be an organization or a group right um, maybe like it's a job or career or some some partnership that you were trying to form on a, in a business sense and you're going to realize that maybe it's not a good match for you and then when you realize that and like let that energy shift out then it makes space for this new energy to come in that's gonna actually make you feel so much better so now for all my singles up in the house here, let's see what the romance front has for you in February of 2022. Um, okay, I feel like one more good shuffle. And let's pull out three cards here. So the first one out, we have not today. And it says not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries and you're still angry okay so what i'm getting here is that um there might be an ex coming back into the picture for some of you okay an ex coming back into the picture um someone who hurt you in the past and you're not really feeling their energy and you haven't quite found that um that sense of forgiveness just yet for what went down okay between you and this person and here in the middle of the month i have i like you so it says someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting and they want to date okay so even though maybe the romance sector in the beginning of the month is like not exactly what you were hoping for here because it's like an ex that you really um wanted to part ways with um in the middle of the month here which is right around february 14th anyway someone is going to let you know that they like you that they're really into you and they're going to be like 
very flirty and I feel like you're going to really enjoy this energy and you're going to really um, love it, especially after having to deal with this nonsense in the beginning of the month. And then towards the end of the month, we have soulmate. Oh, wow. Um, so it says soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So I'm really, for, for my singles out there that are watching this, I'm really getting some good vibes here, okay? That what I'm seeing in this narrative is in the beginning of the month, there's this ex that's coming back, okay? And the reason why they're coming back is because you need to ultimately forgive them and release that energetic bond that you have with them because someone is trying to come up in your space, love, and let you know that they like you. And this person has soulmate energy, okay? They have um, really honest to goodness connection with you. Um, and I'm, I'm getting like little butterflies. So I'm feeling like it's a good soulmate connection, okay? That this soul contract is one of loving support. And, and so um, have patience because in the beginning of the month, I feel like you're really going to be like tried, okay? Someone's really trying it at the beginning of the month. They're like trying to take you to the tri cleaners. Um, and they're being a triceratops, <laughs> if you guys get my lingo. But... Be patient, hang in there because the rest of the month is looking really, really beautiful, really good, really happy, like rainbows. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so one last message with the divine feathers before you go, loves. Um, let's see what they have to say. If you've enjoyed what you've heard and you've gotten some wonderful messages from the reading today, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, as always, um, <clears throat> If you feel like you need um, some extra guidance, some extra help, please connect with me. There's a link down in the description box below where you can book a 15-minute energy reading with me, and it's just donation-based. So you don't have to donate anything at all. You don't have to pay anything to book that appointment, but we can definitely connect, and I can help um, serve your highest and greatest good with whatever you find challenging at the moment. So here's your feather, my dears. Your last little message comes from the blue bird so look at that oh it's really cute I love this like orange and blue coloring that it has going on so you are being gifted with blessings of happiness and peace oh so I I mean I can't stress enough again we've seen it throughout your your reading is the beginning of the month might feel a bit challenging, maybe even into the middle of the month, but have patience because it's all really going to work out and you are going to have that happiness and that peace. I mean, the, the bluebird is saying it, the Ten of Cups is saying it, and the King of Pentacles is going to manifest it and bring it into reality for you, okay? Oh, I'm so excited for you, my Lemurian Quartz people, with your, like, this crush that's going to, like, come out from the the shadows and you're gonna have this soulmate bond this soulmate connection with them oh that sounds so lovely so have a wonderful wonderful february okay have that patience for the first part of it because everything is going to work out just as it should sending you so much love and light i'll catch you all next time Mwah. What's happening, my Blue Lace Agate crew here? So those of you that chose and felt called to or resonating with this crystal, the message for February is find your calm. Um, I have the feeling that, you know, some people that were drawn to this reading and maybe um, some of you that are seeing this Blue Lace Agate, you know, like January had a lot of like downloads and aha moments and, and maybe even some dark night of the ego, dark night of the soul vibes happening. Um, and it's really kind of like gotten you off balance. Okay. Like shook you up a bit. And so February is an opportunity to find your calm, find that balance, find that peace in your life. Okay. So let's see what the tarot has to share with you. I got called to use the Rider weight deck, which I don't often use. So I'm kind of intrigued and fascinated that I decide to come up and play for this reading. So we're going to look at the beginning, middle and end of February. And at the beginning, we have the six of swords right here and the page of cups. Okay. So what I'm getting here is there is some movement 
away from, you see how this person's kind of like hunched over and like has this like cowl and this like um, robe kind of thing on, right? There's something that you're moving away from that felt very heavy. And I think for those of you especially that had this dark night of the soul moment, maybe dark night of the ego moment in January, that there's some good news is that you are moving away from that energy and that vibration, okay? <clears throat> And what you're coming into here, we have the Page of Cups, is a little bit more of um, the higher vibrations when we look at the um, emotions, okay? So tapping more into peace, joy, love, bliss, okay? So we're tapping more into those energies here in the beginning of the month, those vibrations. Um, and which is beautiful because we're moving away from things that were a little heavy, things that were difficult, and we're able to release that okay and move on to um we have like these trees in the background there so these uh, greener pastures these more lush nourishing energies and environments and people and situations okay so in the middle of the month here we have the six of cups and the eight of wands so wow that's really interesting okay so first let's just look at this eight of wands here because you also have the six of swords and what this is telling me is that there's some movement happening so i'm sensing that some of you are maybe going on a trip or moving homes moving locations moving countries so there is some movement happening in your life um once you had all that heavy energy of january now february has a little bit more motion maybe that's why you need to find your calm because so many things will be happening and shifting in your life and you need to take some time to anchor and ground yourself so you don't get like swept up and swept away <clears throat> and the other thing that i'm looking at here in the middle of the month is this six of um cups so there's gonna be this moment um where you're going to be reflecting on the past and everything that brought you to this moment and you know some of the energy may be a little bit heavy and like maybe carry a little bit of regret. But what I'm seeing here is most of that energy is going to be of fondness. That's the word that I'm getting here is this fond reflection on what has come to pass and also how far you've come. Okay. Cause you are strong, strong individuals and like very little can hold you down at least not for very long. Okay. You will always rise up and conquer and achieve. And in the middle of the month, I have this interesting dynamic happening here as well for you. Is there's this sort of this nostalgia, this reminiscence, but there's also this looking toward the future. Okay, so perhaps what's happening for a lot of you in the middle of the month is you're reflecting back on the past and what you've learned. And it's guiding you on how you're going to move forward right to align with the highest and greatest version of yourself and to make your dreams and wishes come true once and for all okay if there's some lingering things that you wished for and maybe when you're looking at that nostalgia you're going to look back and think to yourself like wow i thought i really wanted this i thought i wanted that kind of partner this kind of job that type of relationship this type of lifestyle and really you're finding that that wasn't in complete resonance with you and there's something more exciting more true to who you are coming in and that you're going to be manifesting and calling in to your reality so at the end of the month here we have death and we have the hermit so we have two major arcana cards so a lot of big um, energetic shifts happening for you <clears throat> towards the end of the month and what i'm seeing here is kind of going back to this energy right here of this nostalgia of things that have passed okay so this death is sort of this um death of of your old ideas your old belief systems the old identity of who you are okay um that's all being released because something new is coming in this new chapter in your life is is being like sort of unveiled and we have the hermit card which speaks to really going inward now and assessing like what is your truth what do you want your reality to look like what do you believe you're actually capable of achieving i'm getting the sense here that some of you like you're really um not giving yourselves enough credit for how powerful and how capable you are 
and the end of the month with this hermit energy is a chance for you to find your light again find what makes you shine what makes you so unique what makes you so worthy because whether you believe it or not at this moment i'm saying this you are worthy of all your wishes and dreams being granted okay i need you to know that i'm like looking at you i'm like impressing that upon you okay and you're going to tap into that um towards the end of the month when you take time for yourself take time away from all the noise and and the gossip and and the and you know that um world energy is what i'm getting here like disconnecting from the world um towards the end of the month and honoring yourself nurturing yourself and really feeding that faith into who you are and what you're meant to have in this lifetime Ooh, wow i got some chills on that one so let's see for all of my singles here let's see what sort of romance energies are coming in in honor of you know valentine's day um i know some people maybe they have um this sort of dislike of Valentine's Day um, because um, you're single. But you know what? Life is an adventure. Love is literally everywhere. You just have to be open to receiving it, okay? So let's see what messages are coming through for you, my blue lace agate. <clears throat> so first up, we have heartbroken. Oh, we have this like little... Um, I don't want to say emo, but kind of emo energy coming through. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Um, and so what I'm getting here is like, again, like kind of in the beginning of this reading, I was getting the sense that um, January was not an easy month for several of you watching this that shows this blue lace agate, okay? Um, January was a, a bit of a challenging start to 2022 and that's kind of where your heart is at here you know in the beginning of um february and in the middle of february ah passion whoop, whoop. this beautiful fire with um and a heart shape it says insane chemistry like each other equally having fun so i see this opportunity which comes perfectly because february 14th is like in the middle of the month right and so we have this passion energy coming through and so you know i wouldn't worry too much about like is this another relationship is this another um long-term commitment or a partnership or something like, don't worry about that what i'm getting in the beginning uh in the middle of the month for you loves just have fun like you went through a little bit of some heartbreak um come you know before coming into february and now is your chance to just reconnect with your heart reconnect with your joy like amplify your heart chakra aura here um just have fun with it just just throw a little bit of caution to the wind um in the middle of the month and just live life fully okay now at the end we have keys on a ring and it's many options decision unconventional string along one night stand um which is really interesting because these two cards came out for i want to say the first reading also with the apophyllite so um if you felt kind of torn between the apophyllite and the blue lace agate definitely go and check the apophyllite um reading as well and see what other gems um and messages need to come through for you in that reading <clears throat> And so what I'm getting here is is actually with this hermit card is what I'm, I'm getting. These two are like buddy, like buddying up here. Um, many options, decision, unconventional. OK, so what I'm getting here is just like with the hermit, you're with the hermit card, you're going to be reassessing, reevaluating um, the direction your life is going based on where your life has gone has been so far right what your experience has been in life you're going to reassess and you're going to lay the foundation and the groundwork and you're going to create that pathway for you to align more fully with what you actually do want okay and the thing um to remember with this keys on a ring is that there are lots of options like you are not pigeonholed into one type of reality one type of job one type of relationship style right like for example if you are about you know um polyamory or you just want to live that single life and just have different lovers or if you want to have like an open relationship like 
like don't restrict yourself okay don't let the belief systems and the conventions of your past like limit you in what you can achieve and obtain in your future because it's really all about what fits right for you what kind of job fits right for you what type of relationship style fits right for you what type of diet fits right for you so what fits right for you. That's what really needs to be established here um, in the month of February because you have tons of options um, and you have the opportunity to decide what you actually want. Okay. <clears throat> and lastly here, let's look at the Divine Feather deck here and see what parting messages are here for my Blue Lace Agate crew. So... Let's do a little shuffling. Now, if you got anything out of your reading today um, and you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. But also, if you feel like um, you could use a little bit more guidance, some one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, guidance, then make sure to check in the description box below because there's a link down there where you can book a 15-minute energy reading with me. And it's donation-based because that's what Spirit was telling me to do for the time being. So you don't have to pay anything to have this um, time and space to tap into the energies for your highest and greatest good, okay? But if you feel like there needs to be an energy exchange, you just donate whatever you can at the end of the reading, okay? So no, no worries there, no loss there, okay? Oh, this card almost jumped out here, so I think this card wants to say something to you. So look at this lovely feather here, okay? And it comes from the finch, yes. So the Finch has to say, new opportunities and choices are opening to you now. Claim them. Ooh, my gosh, that was totally what we were talking about here with these last two cards. So there's that confirmation, okay? We let go. We let some things die. We let some things be released um, from our reality, from our existence. <clears throat> And now we have the opportunity to fill up that space, right? It's kind of like the analogy that I'm getting here. Um, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. The analogy that I'm getting is like, you know, when people do like a garage sale or they move homes and so they're getting rid of a lot of things, right? Some clothes that don't fit, some decorations that don't match up with your style anymore, um, some things that you don't use anymore. You're getting rid of all of that stuff so you can fill your home up with things that are more in resonance with you, that, that kind of serve the purpose in which you find yourself in this chapter of your life. Um, and so that's what I'm getting is like this house cleaning energy because new opportunities and and options are opening up for you. Oh my God, now I'm wondering what's gonna happen in March because I get this um, exciting energy for, for March. But in any case, we still need to make it through February, right? And experience all there is to experience in the month of February. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate again, find your calm, okay? When things seem like out of control, when things seem a little bit too much, too heavy, too deep, whatever, um, find your calm. And maybe if you have the opportunity, go and find some blue lace agate um, from a crystal store online or in um, your area and keep that handy and, and make sure you're able to hold it in your hand and tap into the calming energies that it has to share with you. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go now and I will catch you all again soon in the next video. Sending you so much love and light. Mahalos. <laughs>